Hello and welcome to this video on the difference between vegetable and mineral oils. Commonly, vegetable oils like olive oil, canola, sunflower, soy, vegetable and more are all derived from plants and they're used for cooking, and some would use them as a wood preservative. This can be a very bad idea as vegetable oils can carry many problems and not present in synthetic or petroleum distillate oils like mineral oil. Much of this stems from the chemistry differences between these two groups. The simplest issue that should be mentioned from the start are that vegetable oils are degraded far more quickly than mineral oils. This is a result of being chemically less stable. By contrast, mineral oils do not break down the same way. They are used neat in various machines for this reason. Historically, a mineral oil was made as a petroleum distillate, but modern methods allow for it to be made synthetically and through chemical reactions. This does remove some of the renewability issues and the argument that it relies on fossil fuels. Starting with vegetable oil, we can see it is the standard lipid format of a long carbon chain. From this, there are hydrogens at the junction of each carbon bonded to another carbon molecule. However, not every carbon is bonded to a hydrogen. These are unsaturated oils. This leads to the carbons having a double bond, so it does not have a full electron shell until that double bond exists. There are saturated vegetable oils where every carbon has its own hydrogen, and no carbon is double bonded, because all of its shell is filled by either another carbon or a hydrogen. Unsaturated oils can become saturated, and this is done by something called hydrogenation. Generally speaking, the most effective method, and generally cheapest, is to raise the vegetable oil to a high heat, add a metal catalyst, put this in a vacuum, and introduce hydrogen. This forces the hydrogen to fundamentally bond to the carbon backbone, and this allows it to become saturated. The key to having the metal there is that it allows those double bonds to be broken down. This allows each carbon to become a single bond. By contrast, mineral oil is a broad term and it describes a range of colourless, odourless, and very light mixtures of alkanes. So like vegetable oil, this is a catch-all term. Where vegetable oils do vary significantly as there are a great many sources, nearly every oil that makes up the mineral oil category is fundamentally the same. They are basically a carbon chain of nine or more carbons with every carbon attached to another two carbons and two hydrogen molecules. Mineral oil may also be known by such names as paraffin oil, white oil, and various technical names in Latin. The choice of naming convention will vary by geographical region and what it's being used for. For example, paraffin oil is often used as a sealer and in things like water tanks, machinery, and similar white oil for the purposes of gardening, and the technical Latin names in medical settings. The difference between the two should be apparent from the images of the two different types of oil as we've shown them so far. One is saturated, but its shell is not full, while the other is. Carbon needs four connections to be complete. This makes the molecule far more stable than without a full shell. This is not to say that it will not react. It is why mineral oil is used as a fuel in some niche applications. This leads us to the first and perhaps biggest difference between vegetable oils and mineral oil. Vegetable oils will oxidize. Oxidation is the loss of an electron as per the mnemonic oil rig. That means the hydrogen in this case can be broken free from the carbon backbone. This is a reaction that negatively affects the function, flavor, and appearance of the oil. It is one of the big reasons that vegetable oils are not supposed to be used for wooden chopping boards and butcher blocks. The oil will turn rancid and possibly cause deterioration of the board as rot begins to set in in a manner of speaking. The stability of mineral oil means it will not be readily biodegradable, but it can be broken down over time but it is much longer by contrast to vegetable oils, which are considered biodegradable. This is not to say that mineral oil does not oxidize or cannot oxidize, but it requires high heat to happen, whereas vegetable oils can oxidize at room temperature. By contrast to this, mineral oil is reactive as a fuel, and that is because all those hydrogen-carbon molecule bonds act as stored chemical energy, 
And when you break those bonds, you release the energy. Because there are more bonds in something like paraffin oil or mineral oil, you obviously have more energy. Whereas in vegetable oils, you have fewer bonds and therefore less stored energy. Another effect of this is that the mineral oil is generally lighter, or more accurately, it's less dense than vegetable oil. This is a result of the chemistry of the molecule, which is more polar than vegetable oils. This in turn means it has greater, let's say, resilience or resistance and repulsion to its own. And so you have more space between molecules. This obviously leads to less dense material. By contrast, the uh, lack of this degree of polarity in vegetable oils means it can be more compact and therefore greater density than mineral oils as a counterpart. The vegetable oil products are generally classified as fatty oils, but mineral oil is not. This is because of the different structures. While not essential to this video, the differences are noteworthy enough, as you may see this is a point of contention in the comments. And just remember that it's a distinction in terms of how the body can use the content of the oil, not what actually is going on so much, as some of these same structures are present in both, but one can be used by the body, the other cannot. A food grade mineral oil is relatively safe for consumption. It does have a laxative effect, so you should obviously avoid using it to any extensive degree, and prolonged usage can have other problems. The most apparent issue of prolonged usage is that a mineral oil can block absorption of nutrition as it lines the intestines. As it lines the intestines, it thereby prevents water-soluble, and to a certain extent lipid-soluble content, passing through the small intestine and into the bloodstream, and therefore your body cannot absorb it. Chemically, both mineral oil and vegetable oil are oils. More accurately, both are lipids or hydrocarbon chains to some extent. The difference is in how they react and interact. This is all based on the chemistry and properties of the chemistry that make them up. While yes, there are distinctions and sometimes it can be very important, other times it really isn't very important. For example, using mineral oil for a sealant as we do with things like wooden chopping boards, or for things like wound paste for bonsai, is useful as it is stable and it won't cause any issues as it degrades. Whereas, if we would use it for cooking, we would have issues with having to go to the toilet regularly. Conversely, if we used vegetable oils for wound paste, it would likely wind up causing issues with rot within the open wound of the bonsai tree. But we can quite easily use them for cooking purposes, because they don't have the same negative effects. It's a case of everything has its role and its place, and in this case, these two very different oils, although both oils, have theirs and hopefully this video has helped to elucidate for you some of the reasons why they are very different, but also functionally very different at a chemical level. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it interesting, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions you have below.